okay uh, these are the uh, x ray abdomen uh, frontal uh, projection in uh, uh, these uh, so fine and uh, standing position i can appreciate that uh, um, small bowel loops are dilated uh, predominantly in the uh, right lumbar region and there is a paucity of air gas shadows uh, in rest of the abdomen and on the uh, standing uh, position it shows multiple uh, air fluid levels and um, no bubble gas is seen in the uh, pelvic region i cannot uh, i cannot see the rectal region so i cannot comment so uh, no um, free air shadow is seen so based on these findings the uh, 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 my diagnosis is of uh, 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 obstruction small bowel obstruction uh, without any nemo peritoneum yet uh, so i would uh, like to uh, uh do a uh, ct scan uh, abdomen with contrast for further evaluation okay of this patient okay uh, these are the coronal uh, uh, coronal and axial sections of contrast enhanced uh, ct scan of uh, abdomen i can appreciate uh, here Uh, very well that the small bowel is uh, significantly dilated and it shows uh, uh, on the coronal sections it do, uh, does not show any uh, uh, significant enhancement of its uh, wall and there is uh, uh, surrounding uh, fat stranding and mild ascites is also seen on uh, the axial section i can appreciate uh, that uh, um, okay on the coronal section i can also uh, appreciate a, a, a rounded lesion within the small bowel that uh, may represent a uh, uh, the uh, cause of the obstruction so uh, no free, free uh, no free air is seen again and uh, this uh, uh, if she uh, if this patient has uh, any previous uh, ultrasound scan in which she has a gb stone or anything then i would uh, like to uh, keep my diagnosis uh, as a gallstone ileus as the uh, rounded density in the uh, right iliac fossa appears to be a uh, stone and however no uh, uh, gas shadows are identified in the uh, gallbladder region so my first diagnosis is gall stone ileus the second could be um, appendicitis but uh, it is unusual for appendicitis to cause uh, this much uh, obstruction and okay I would, excellent yeah, yeah so what how would you explain the presence of free fluid and mesenteric congestion um that Can is a um um the uh, the congestion uh, may be due to the dilatation uh, massive dilatation that is resulting into the bowel ischemia and uh, uh, rip, uh, and resulting into uh, 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 ites yes doubt woman so excellent so let's go back excellent what's your next step so uh, if you try to uh, Yeah, I would I would refer this case uh, to the surgery. Agra ko bhakkar ho bhaati nahi ga. Which are not for emergency uh, surgery, surgical management. Yes, excellent. So, as we said, once you are sure what's your diagnosis, full pain ke na baazu pata. Forward and. Diagnosis and. Just let me go. Put my pani maar do. 
ਆਣੀ ਮਾਰ ਕੇ ਹਾਫ ਫੁੱਲ ਸਲੀਪ ਪਹਿਨ ਕੇ ਨਾ ਬਾਜ਼ੂ ਉੱਪਰ ਕਰ ਲਓ so if we go back to the uh, x-ray we can see here this is a supine x-ray this is the standing x-ray uh, there is dilated uh, small bowel loop multiple with yes. air fluid level so from the abdominal x-ray you can straight forward say that there is a uh, small bowel obstruction there is no yes. necrosis intestinalis there is no uh, free air under diaphragm then next is for ct excellent so this is the ct we can see here if we, there is a stranding and contrast seen within the uh, expected area of gall bladder so uh, if you look carefully there is oral contrast and then there is linear area of contrast tracking yeah yes yes gall bladder so this is a fistula between the gall bladder and the uh, first part of duodenum yes so, then going to the coronal images we can see here there is a uh, significantly dilated small bowel lobes and then the transition zone is uh, towards the distal ileum or uh, terminal ileum and you can see this is the typical appearance of a gallstone so yes. it's with central hypodensity and rim of hyperdensity and this is the gas within the stone so this represent a gallstone ileus dropped stone uh, sorry uh, uh, fistula with stone impacted at the terminal ileum having a uh, amount of free fluid with the slight decrease enhancement of the wall we should raise the uh, concern of uh, bowel ischemia the high grade mechanical bowel obstruction caused by gallstones with features of uh, impending ischemia uh, whenever okay. you have any high grade small bowel obstruction either closed loop obstruction mechanical obstruction always look for signs uh, of impending ischemia even if you can even if the bowel wall has been preserved having congested mesentery and having free fluid adjacent to the dilated bowel in a mechanical obstruction always should raise the suspicion of impending ischemia okay okay ma'am thank you and time this is a similar case yeah here this is uh, another patient this is the fistula and this is the dropped stone Yes. Uh, excellent, great job. Thank you. Thank you. So, Gulfstone Elias, uh, it causes a mechanical small bowel obstruction, rare complication of chronic cystitis, uh, and uh, expected uh, regular triad. Uh, it's not 100% seen in all patients. Sometimes you see the small bowel obstruction and the stone, but not the pneumobilia. Uh, sometimes the stone... Uh, you cannot see it clearly but you can see the uh, pneumobilia and the fistula tract uh, or the effect of uh, bowel obstruction by transition zone but uh, if you see all three then it's called a regular triad the obstruction gas and the biliary tree or pneumobilia and the gallstone itself uh, the stone commonly impact at the terminal ileum or distal ileal loop uh, sometimes these Uh, the fistula tract uh, may occur with the stomach or the first part of duodenum and the stone goes to the uh, stomach uh, and gets trapped in the uh, gastrodudinal junction causing proximal gastric outlet obstruction uh, in that scenario we call it a uh, pervert syndrome